Hi. Today we're making. <laughs> <laughs> My son's not gonna let me talk. Today we're making a dinner that's perfect for. <laughs> Today we're making a delicious meal perfect for fall and winter. <laughs> Today we're making a dinner that's perfect for winter fall, and the three rock star ingredients are peppers, sausage, and spaghetti squash. It's gonna be oh so good, guys. Drea with Clueless Mama D here, and I'm actually coming at you guys after we ate the delicious meal I'm about to share with you guys. You guys saw my intro. I was not gonna get very far with this video if I didn't do this. So things have calmed down in my house, and I can share with you guys this awesome recipe that I cook lots of times throughout the colder months of the year. I always double batch it, throw half of it in the freezer. Everybody loves it, and guys, it's healthy. This video is actually dedicated to one of my subscribers, my man, Tom. Tom. I thought I was your man. What? I thought I was your man. <laughs> anyway, Tom is a loyal subscriber who watches every video and he's always got, I want to call him Emoji Tom. Emoji Tom always has the best emojis in my comments and he was like, make another cooking video. So this video is for you and all my other lovelies, but enough talk talking because I know there's also going to be somebody commenting saying I'm talking too much because that happens every time I do a cooking video. Let's get to it. So I originally got this recipe from Clean and Delicious, who I love. I always make sure to get nice, fresh, organic sausages. Mmm. And you can see the rest of the ingredients here. They're written below. Gotta have a variety of peppers. It just looks so much prettier. And I do grab low sodium diced tomatoes as well as low sodium chicken broth. You gotta get your seasonings here, and because I wasn't cool enough to capture the picture, uh, there is your Italian seasoning. So go ahead and throw some of the oil into your pan and save some for later. Now, comment below if you do this. I can't stand the skins on solid sausages. It just totally grosses me out. <laughs> so I always take them out and make them into balls. Go ahead and cook that up till it's cooked and then set it aside. Then you're going to dice your veggies. Now have you cooked a sausage and pepper recipe before or spaghetti squash? Comment below. Look at those rich colors. Mm. So I've got my garlic sauteed. I'm going to throw in my onion now. Just cooking it on medium heat. It's gonna go ahead, cook the vegetables to the texture you like them. If you like them harder, cook them less. If you like them softer, cook them longer. And make sure you sing like a chipmunk. Mix that all together. Add your seasoning and put the sausage back inside. And then I top that off with some more seasoning. Mix that in. It's really easy to do, guys. Once you add the sauce in, you just cook it till everything is heated. Throw this on your pasta, or if you wanna go really healthy, throw it on some spaghetti squash, guys. It's oh so good. For those of you who want to have the healthier alternative, click the i card up here or the video in the description. This will be my recipe on how to make spaghetti squash and have this awesome meal or whatever awesome meal you wanna do. Make sure you subscribe, lovelies, and hit the bell. That's super important if you ever want to see me again. And till the next video. Love you lovelies. Mm.